Incredibly sad news to break this morning. Actress Shannon Doherty has died at the age of 54. Welcome to Popcorn Planet. I am Andy Signor. I'm here in Phoenix, but I wanted to break this news for you as I was just reading this coming in through the wire, and I am just uh, sad to see it. This is not a massive surprise. Shannon had known that she had stage four cancer that had gotten to her into bones. Uh, This was a serious thing. She had already been sort of prepping with this time to come, but now it has, and it's just hard to hear the actress of 90210, Charmed, so many amazing movies and shows has passed at the age of 53 we have a statement from her family uh we're going to read as well as talk a little bit about the history of what she's been going through and done here is a statement coming in though it is with a heavy heart that i confirm the passing of actress shannon doherty on saturday july 13th she lost her battle with cancer after many years of fighting the disease her longtime publicist uh leslie sloan confirmed in an exclusive statement to people The devoted daughter, sister, aunt, and friend was surrounded by her loved ones, as well as her dog, Bowie. The family asked for the privacy at this time so they can grieve in peace. Beverly Hills 902 star was first diagnosed with breast cancer in 2015 and spoke candidly about it to people back in November 2023 about her stage 4 breast cancer, which had then spread to her bones, saying at the time she didn't want to die. I'm not done with living, I'm not done with loving, I'm not done with creating, and I'm not done with hopefully changing things for the better, she told people. I'm just not, I'm not done. Following her 2015 diagnosis, she revealed in 2017 that she had gone into remission. It's hopeful, uh, though by 2019, apparently the cancer clearly returned. Following year, Doherty announced her diagnosis of metastatic stage 4 cancer. In June of 2023, the actress shared that the cancer had spread to her brain and she had now undergone surgery. Uh, And that's obviously, that's just brutal. It's a brutal diagnosis. Uh, In June 2023, she shared on Instagram that the cancer had spread to her brain and that she had undergone surgery five months earlier to remove a brain tumor, which she had named Bob. It had to get removed and dissected to see its pathology. She told People in 2023, it was definitely one of the scariest things I've ever been through in my entire life. Despite that, the actress was determined to continue working as she lived with the disease. People just assume that it means you can't walk, you can't eat, you can't work, you can't put out, you're just put out the pasture at a very early age, you're done, you're retired, and we're not, she said, adding, we're vibrant and we have such a different outlook on life. We are people who want to work, embrace life, and keep moving forward. Indeed, before her death, she had hoped to raise awareness and funds for cancer research at the same time, showing others that people like herself with terminal cancer are still individuals with plenty to contribute. Ugh. This is rough. Uh, When you ask yourself, why me? Why did I get cancer? And then why did my cancer come back? Why am I at stage four? That leads you to look at the bigger purpose in life. Her candid comments echoed her works from a 2020 interview with Amy Robach and Good Morning America. I definitely have days where I say, why me? She told uh, Roback at the time of the development. And then I go, well, why not me? What else? Who else besides me deserves this? None of us do. The interview, Mark Doherty's first revealing her breast cancer had returned at stage four after she had previously gone in remission. It's going to come out in a minute, matter of days or week. I'm stage four, so my cancer came back and that's why I'm here. I don't think I've processed it. It's a bitter pill to swallow in a lot of ways. What an amazingly brave woman, though, as you as I, I didn't really follow all this as it was going down. And uh, as I was been researching for the story this morning, I'm just so impressed with her strength, her ability to process this. How could anyone and her ability to share it with others? Because so many people are going through this, guys. It's just so sad. We haven't figured out a way to cure this awful disease. Oh, it makes me so frustrated how much energy we devote on other things and fighting and pharmaceuticals that we have not cured this yet. We should have by now. She got, uh, garnered praise for openly talking about living with cancer. Uh, she rose, obviously, as we know, Brenda Walsh on Beverly Hills 90210. So sad we lost Luke Perry at 51, around the same age, about a year earlier uh, from a stroke. So sad, the two of them. Uh, the actress left the show after the fourth season of, in 94. She later uh, revisited the character in uh, 2008's reboot, 90210. 
After the Beverly Hills fame, Doherty was cast in Charmed as Prue Holloway, the eldest of three sisters or witches. She, st- she also directed several episodes and left at the end of season three. But let's not let's not hide the fact that that was Alyssa Milano being a super B word, uh, forcing her out and causing all a lot of drama. And Doherty even brought that back up again as she was facing her demise and made it clear where she stood on things when Alyssa was trying to like weasel her way out. No, 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 no. You, you, what you did to her at that point was awful and even after it all went down and you had a chance and you knew she was still not feeling well she still took that all the way Alyssa until now and now can't ever say it to her face so I, just a super scummy from everything I've read about that waste Alyssa Milano power trip Doherty out was disgusting Doherty worked steadily through her career and even ventured uh, into reality shows short lived breaking up with Shannon Doherty and was a contestant on Dancing with the Stars in 2019 she signed on to join uh, the reboot 90210 once again playing an adult version of the character that made her famous though the actress uh, said she was aware of her diagnosis she kept it a secret from the cast after uh, the unexpected death of her co-star Luke Perry in March of 2019 at yeah 52 it's weird for me to be a diagnosed and then somebody who was, you know, seemingly healthy to go first, Doherty said. Uh, it really was, like, shocking. Here is the cast uh, reuniting together. Um, the whole crew, obviously, sadly, minus Luke Perry. Doherty said participating in the TV reboot, reboot, which aired in Fox, was the least I could do to honor Perry. And it was also an opportunity to prove that she can continue to work despite her health. Good for her, man. Good for her. One of the reasons, along with Luke, that I did 90210 and didn't really tell anybody was I thought people can look at that as people with stage four can work too. Her strength was recognized by her fellow actors in the show, Brian Austin Green praising her. Sharon is absolutely leading by example and showing people that even in the toughest of times, you can keep your head up and you can be a good person. And she is. She's an amazing person and an inspiration. Most poignantly, Doherty talked about her 2023 interview here at People. Uh, her love of life, her gratitude for being able to wake up and spend time with her family uh, and her dog and hopefully approach. My greatest memory is yet to come, she told people. I pray I wake up and go to bed thanking God, praying for the things that matter to me without asking for too much. It connects me to a higher power and spiritually my faith is my mantra. I know it sounds cheesy and crazy, but you're just uh, more aware of anything, everything and you feel as so blessed we we're the people who want to work the most because we're just so grateful for every second, every hour, every day we get to be here. Oh, it is just such a sad news to hear that she lost the battle. She fought it though so strong as so many do. Uh, it is just a sad day. And and one other thing I wanted to share here as this was pre- she she knew and she was preparing for her death. This is an article back in April of uh, this year. She began giving away her personal items because she didn't want it to all be a burden to them. It's going to be so hard on her, talking about her mom and other things. I want other things to be a lot easier. I don't want her to have to go through a bunch of my stuff to deal with. I don't want her to have to have four storage units filled with furniture. She planned to sell them, uh, including an expensive antique collection, so she could use that money to travel with her mom. Uh, But she's saving her savings account for her family to leave uh, so they can be taken care of in the event of her passing. Oh, so brutal, so sad, uh, so much respect uh, for Shannon Doherty. I am, uh, I am just sad we've lost her. Uh, dead at 53, uh, cancer, F cancer. To anybody out there suffering as well, be strong. You got this. We, we see you. It's just a tragedy that we have to lose people this way. Uh, and I, I send so much love to Doherty's family and uh, a moment of silence. <laughs> 